Welcome back to another interview on Radio Entrepreneurs. My name again is Jeffrey Davis and uh, thousands of interviews. And uh, we find it all exciting hearing the stories of leadership and entrepreneurship and how people are building businesses and careers in this economy. Our next guest is Kenny Rose, CEO and founder of Fran Shares. Welcome. Thanks for having me, Jeffrey. Great to be here. Thank you very much. Oh, you got the T-shirt. That's great. I don't even have to look at my notes. Got to have a little swag in there. <laughs> that's that's great. I like it. Uh, well, tell us why why do we need the flag of Franchares? What's up? You know, because investing's been changing the last couple of years. I'm sure everyone around here noticed. You know, I I noticed it when the pandemic hit. People started gambling on the stock market because sports were none. And, uh, you know, people need something to invest in that actually makes sense and is tangible and produces income. And so franchising came in to be a great fit. And so we created Franchares so you can buy shares of franchises. Uh, tell me how the mechanics work, because you got me you got me going. Oh, perfect. No, I'm just going to sign off here. You go to the website. Uh, I'm good. Um, yeah, so mechanics are you invest into a portfolio or selection of franchise locations, and they can be in different industries, anything from food, like you pr probably traditionally know, to waste management, uh, healthcare, med spas. They franchise just about everything. And so as you invest into a franchise offering, you get into ownership of those locations. So that entitles you to both uh, quarterly dividends based on the production of the franchises, as well as equity growth. You know, as these businesses scale, their value goes up as well. And so you earn both from that appreciation as well as the income into your account. So do you have to sign up? It's just like a sounds like a mutual fund. Do you have to sign up the, these franchises? You can't just, or do you, can you randomly just buy portions of each? How does it work? That's what I was asking. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so it's whatever's on the platform. So unfortunately, it's not all franchises yet, but we'll be there one day. And so you get to actually, I mean, we have a different ways you can do it, whether it's kind of the mutual fund approach or into specific brands and locations. And um, we do that because some people do want to go into like, hey, I really like the med spa industry. I think it's going to do great. And then others might say, hey, you know, I don't know much about franchising. I want to get some diversification across different industries. And then you get more of that mutual fund approach. And so as you sign up, it's really like you're getting access to a stock market of franchises. And so you'll be able to you know, really pick what really feels right for you and uh, get some exposure to the franchise world. So, Kenny, uh, that's a pretty specialized thing. What's your path to uh, Franchare? Yeah, so um, I actually spent about a decade in the franchise world. Uh, before, when I was getting out of college, I was a financial advisor at Merrill Lynch and uh you know, in my time there, I realized a couple things. One, people in the Bay Area do not like people who wear suits. And another was that that industry is drastically changing. We saw like robo advisors coming about. And, um, you know, I wanted to see what other industries were out there that I could take kind of my skill set to. And, you know, I was introduced to the franchise world. Well, I should say reintroduced because I think everyone knows about franchises, but I realized I didn't know that much about it. You know, I thought it was all McDonald's, Subway, Taco Bell. And then I find out that everything from window washing to car washing to painting, like every industry you can imagine is a franchise. And so I spent about a decade in the franchise brokerage world. So it's kind of like being like a realtor or an investment advisor for how you find and buy the right franchise. And so I'd educate them on franchising because they probably didn't know that much and then recommend them specific brands based on their budget, their skill set, and goals and coach them through that research and purchase process. And you know, over the years, I realized a couple things. One is that people love the idea of owning a franchise, but they usually don't have six or seven figures of cash laying around. And then even if they did, they usually don't want to go leave that full-time job that allowed them to accumulate such wealth. And then on the other side of the equation, you have all these great operators, you know, people that you see in the locations every day who don't have access to capital. You know, Unless they already have millions of dollars at their disposal, it's hard to get uh, lending to go and expand their franchise holdings or even to get their first ones going. And so really we separate where the money comes from, from who the operators are, and then pair that together. So you really get that winning combination that really made franchising uh, you know, rise to begin with. So have you always had ambitions to be an entrepreneur or is that something that sort of grew, you grew into? Um, always. I'm actually the uh, son of an entrepreneur, so I've uh, witnessed fortunes won and lost uh, by the grit of your own teeth. And I always knew I was going to do it. It was just uh, you know trying to find which one 
was what was going to be the right path for me. And that's part of what attracted me to franchising is that I had this entrepreneurial ambition, but I didn't really have this unique, I, I didn't have the next Facebook in my pocket and I didn't have the next, you know, like local home building thing. And so franchising really allowed uh, you to get, it gets you into an industry where you get this business in a box. You know, it's not trying to figure out how you go to market, how you scale, how you build all these systems in place. You know, people love to start with like, oh, I've got a great idea. So I'm going to build a great business. It's like, wow, there's a, there's a long path that's going to await you trying to figure out the rest of how to build it. And so franchising allows you to kind of skip that first five plus years of being in business and, you know, get straight to here's how it works. Now go and execute. And um, when I was in the uh, franchise brokerage space, funny enough, that was a franchise itself. And so I was able to really go in. I had a territory and I, um, you know, was uh, I understood I got to learn how to build this business, how to scale it. And then, you know, how to go on from there. So it was a really great opportunity for me. And I know like as people dive more into franchising, they're just like, oh, this is not what I thought it was. People just kind of imagine you're stuck, you know, cleaning out the balls of a, of a play castle somewhere. So on this entrepreneurial journey, did you start out alone? Did you start out as a team? And who's with you now? Yep. So I did start off alone. Um, when it came to franchise, I was a solo founder. Um, and then yeah, I went and raised a pre-seed round that was venture backed and went off and built the team. And I've just got my absolute dream team here. Um, you know, everyone just comes with great experience and, uh, my leadership team is great because, uh, they actually worked together at a, another startup before it really helped, um, gig economy drivers, like how to grow their business. And they, they started as employees five and six in marketing and operations and eventually grew that to 50 or 60 employees and I think 30 million plus raised. And so I call them, the, they're my Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase is that they've already worked together. They've got all these reps in. And now, even though they're in a new system, they've got, they know, they have the chemistry together. They know how to work. And so we've uh, been running for uh, about two years now. And it's just been a great experience working with the team. It was definitely a long process to get there though. <laughs> Still funded? What? Still funded or positive revenue? Uh, still funded, and actually, we're raising our uh, we're raising our next round right now too. So it's uh, honestly, it's been a great adventure so far. We'll be uh, self funded next year, but uh, you know, you got to get there. We've got you know forty two thousand and change on our wait list for future offerings and a couple hundred million in inbound deal flow. So now we're just matching the two and uh, off to the races. And uh, is there anyone else in your field? Or are you alone right now? Not specific to franchising. I mean, there are crowdfunding investment platforms like Fundrise allows you know, even non-accredited investors to invest in the commercial real estate. You've got Masterworks that allows you to invest in artwork like Picasso's. Uh, Vinced is one that does like wine and whiskey collections. So the alternative investing space has been growing a lot, but we're the only ones that do this in the franchise world. And part of why I got into franchising, I realized you know, I was 23 at the time, maybe, and uh realized most people did not, you know, they look, they overlooked franchising. So I was like, great, I'm going to dive very deep into this field and be able to build something from it once I've mastered it. So last question, what's everything going to look like for you in a couple of years? Man, I'm really excited for it. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here in Chicago and, you know, where I live, there'll be a Chicago fund. So where I go to get my hair cut, go eat, go work out, get my oil changed. Those are all things that I own a piece of. And so I'm shopping at these local businesses run locally that I'm also an investor in. And I'll know I've really made it when um, yeah, I, I got this picture, you're going to walk into a Jimmy John's and see a QR code sitting there and you can scan that QR code and invest in that location you're standing in. And so five years, I'm hoping we'll be able to uh, get to that point. That sounds great. And uh, like your story, we hope you come back again. These are great stories for us to track over time. Uh, Kenny, if someone wants to find Franchairs or you, how would they do that? Well, for Franchairs, you just go to Franchairs.com, just like on the shirt. And then uh, for me, I love LinkedIn. I always encourage people to connect with me on there and always mention where, where you heard about us because I, I love connecting with people and like understanding the journey. So uh, don't be a stranger and uh, come check out what we're building here. Great. Thanks for being on the show. I look forward to meeting you again. And awesome. remind everybody... These entrepreneurial stories are care of radio entrepreneurs.